Yeah, I'm happy to start. Um, now, our first question for you. Um, just can you talk about just sort of being back in Argentina and I guess what's the sort of morale around the squad after sort of a 20, 20 24 hours traveling from, from Sydney? Yeah, no, it's been good to to be back here. Um, last time I was here was a, was a few years ago, 22. So, um, yeah, we got in a, a couple of nights ago. Um, I think the boys are still getting over the jet lag a bit. So, um, yeah, so yesterday we did a bit of a light like walk through, jog through on on what we want to do against Argentina, and then um, yeah, today we got we got a big day ahead of, of training. Um, but yeah, you know, myself I was up at like four o'clock this morning trying to go back to sleep. But um, yeah, I guess training will take it out of me today. No, uh, or sorry, no, no, please go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say before you went to the airport, uh, before you guys left Sydney, um, your assistant Larry Fisher was saying how sort of the importance around giving. Tens um, the sort of saddle of time in the saddle and just sort of for the development just for yourself just having consistency under Joe starting the majority of the test matches how's that just helped to grow your game this year? Yeah, no, it's 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 been awesome. Um, you know, I think for me, like not being involved at all last year and then being straight back into it this year, it's uh it's been quite an adjustment. But you know, at the same time, I've been really enjoying it so far. Um, I know the results. You know, the last two games haven't gone our way, but, you know, I'm representing my country, you know, um, at Fly Half. So I'm um, just trying to keep things into perspective, I guess. And then, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, as, as games go on, you know, as a, as a team, um, you know, we can we can improve. Um, there was good improvements in, into that second game against South Africa. But, you know, we obviously know that, you know, that we didn't get the job done there. But... Um, you know, Joe's been taking it as a half half glass full kind of kind of approach, um, and yeah, as a, as a whole, we just need to execute. Um, you know, our, our decision making out there. So um, that's been good, mate. I've I've really been enjoying it um, so far. I mean, you're playing against the best of the best now, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do my best. And um, yeah, see how we go. Well, you probably are in one of the most scrutinized positions in the world, I mean, even more so than other countries, the wall of the number 10 jersey. You said you're, you're enjoying it, which is brilliant, but equally, how are you dealing with the pressure? You know, like, world champions, two games, um, obviously we're playing before. How are you finding that pressure? And is there anything that Joe's doing from his white catalog, you know, the sections of this world to give you that, that belief uh, mm. going forward? Yeah, it's like I mentioned before, just putting things in, into perspective. Um, you know, as you said, like, you know, playing fly half of the Wallabies is, is up there, with, um, you know, pressure-wise. So, um, again, like, just, just keeping it real simple for myself, um, putting things into perspective that, you know, it is just a game of footy at the end of the day. Um, and Joe, Joe's been great too. He just, he just keeps harping on, just keep backing myself and whatever I do on the field. And um, yeah, he's again. He's been real supportive, individually and as a team as well. Uh, but I know myself, and and the team also as a squad that we, we need to be better going forward. And um, you know, hopefully these next few weeks uh, we can we can show that improvement. Um, Noah, what is what are some things you're really targeting that you think you can improve? I mean, obviously the second half, the second test. But it was a great performance. What are you really targeting yourself that you're like looking to lift personally against the Pumas? Yeah, um, Joe is a really big fan of um, his short kicking game. So you know, for myself, it's a bit of an adjustment because um, you know it's probably something I've been you know developing really hard at the moment. Not just myself, but you know all the backs as well. Just trying to manipulate the defence, you know, with ball on foot um, instead of you know going contestable or you know work our way like into territory and stuff it's more attacking kicks like the, the low flat cross field kicks that you know myself and and you know all the other boys have been working really hard on um, you know we tried to do that a few times in that second test um, some you know we got good pay and then some which didn't execute right so that's probably one aspect you know myself you know I've been you know working really hard on so far um, and yeah just just the adjustment on how Joe wants to wants to play because you know he's real ball first dominant you know winning that ball the carry the clean inside and outside and whatever happens after that you know it's just he's real focused and harsh on winning that breakdown first so it's how we play off of that 
um, you know, getting our attack going again. So, um, yeah, so I'd say that's probably the, the one or two things that, um, you know, we've been working hard on. Josh, if we just bring you in here, mate. Um, first, first, like, proper Wallabies call-ups, congratulations. Uh, how have you found the last couple of weeks? A bit of a roller coaster ride from Melbourne to the Reds to probably since you might be in that initial squad to missing out to now being in there. How have you kind of ridden those highs and, and maybe lows, but uh, the roller coaster journey anyway? Yeah, thank you. Um... I don't know exactly if I expected to be in the squad, but um, loving being here now, absolutely. Um, first, like moving to Reds is pretty, pretty quick after Rebels and straight into it. So uh, I think just straight in the deep end is the quickest way to learn, and loved every minute of that. And then just getting this call up was yeah unexpected with a few head knocks last week, and just coming in. I think I noticed all the boys are just such a tight knit group. Obviously disappointed after that first um, South Africa test, but the way they rallied together to try and improve on everything is just something I was really impressed with. And same again this week. I think there's just a big mindset in the group to get better and to improve every game. What was the initial feedback that you may have received? I'm not sure if you did, in fact, but you know, what did you get asked to? And, and since coming in, what in particular have you noticed around some of the things that Joe likes with his, you know, forward play? Um, initially, the feedback was trying to put on a bit more weight, get a bit more stronger, so I can be more dom dominant in um, contact areas, especially defence. Um, and also just, I think, my style of game, if I'm not, like, at 100%, like those 50-50 passes, if, if one goes the wrong way um, and you're giving the other, ball, other team the ball back, it's a lot harder to get it back in test footy. So I've been working on putting it on some weight and controlling the ball a bit more. Um, I was wondering, uh, Noah, we, we did a piece at the Sydney Morning Herald, my colleague uh, Ian Payton did it, where uh, Stephen Larkin was speaking very highly about you and obviously saying how important it was just for you to get that consistency. I know Nathan obviously asked the question before, but how important has it been in your journey to have mentors like Stephen? And is there anybody else that in your journey as an out half or five eighth, as we say here, um, you lean on just just to run over some things with guys who've been there and done it. Yeah, no, nah, Bernie's been you know real supportive um, ever since he's been back at the Brums. Um, yeah, not not really, mate. Um, so I've sort of just you know taken the approach like when I'm during the day when I'm with the boys and stuff, I'm switched on and you know worrying. About Putting all my energy and focus into into the rugby part of things, but then probably what I've you know sort of gotten right this year is just getting away from footy as well and just refresh and fill the tank in that way. Because I know previously the last few years I've uh, you know put a lot of pressure on myself as um, you know as young tens do, especially internationally. So um, I've sort of just gone with that approach that you know rugby is what I do. It's not who I am in sort of way. Um, and yeah, you know, when I'm in, I'm all in, putting all my focus and energy into into footy, and you know, doing the best job I can, and with the team as well. But then, um, you know, when I'm away, um, you know, just really trying to switch off and you know, fill that tank up. You know, playing a bit of golf or trying to at least. Um, you know, spending time with with my partner and family um, when I'm with them as well. So, sort of just finding that that true balance. Um, you know, especially on tour in Argentina or overseas somewhere, it, come, it can be quite difficult. So just, yeah, really trying to just, you know, again, pour all my focus and energy in, into the footy when we're, when we're on. But, you know, when we have days off and that, just try and really get away or, you know, get the mind off, off things and just, you know, enjoy life as, as it is. There's, you're in probably one of, both of you boys are in probably one of the world's great cities. I uh, know you don't have much time off, but is there anything you're both going to try and make a point of doing? Is it try to get out to Baca to see a bit of the soccer? Or is there anything you boys are going to try to nail while you're out there? I don't know. Uh, I definitely want to try the steak. I've heard the steak's amazing here, but mm -hmm. I think a few of the boys might be checking out the soccer while we're here as well. Yeah. You know, you're just gonna keep it quiet, man. No, nah, we're trying to get a, get a hook up at um, some golf courses around here, but apparently they're not open on Mondays, so 
Um, oh, yeah, yeah. If, if any Argentinian golf clubs watching, um, hook us up. <laughs> hey, Josh, can I just ask a bit around? Um, uh, clearly, Joe's trying to assure that those 50 50 passes aren't always pushed and so forth, but that, that's an area of your game that is almost a bit of your identity, I, I, would, I would say. Like, how do you. Like as a player, ensure that you don't lose some of the things that you make, like that are the strengths of yours, that you don't lose them, even though there might be things that want to be polished elsewhere from the coaching stuff. Yeah, I think um, with me, it's just being confident, backing myself when when the opportunity's right. Um, I think as long as like I'm doing all the little things right, like the path is actually on, I'm sighting the target, I'm doing everything right, I can live with not. Uh, perfect execution but when the pass is probably not on and I'm trying to force it and I'm not looking like those are the ones I need to get rid of Sure, well, and tell us how much uh, work's been going on with the moor and what are the couple of things that you've noticed since coming into camp Yeah I think um, the boys were pretty disappointed with last week's moor and working really hard to fix it this week I think um, th there's a big mindset on trying to fix it this week obviously and how, how to do that is not like just one week it's fixed I think building it week by week fixing little parts fine tuning things yeah and no just if I could ask around um, yourself and like your, your journey how do you do you feel like you know it would probably be about your eighth iteration with all of you so far but do you feel like the extra body armor that you've been able to put on through all the, the mental kind of um, games that you've probably been able to make, does that help as you kind of approach midway through the 2024 campaign around you just kind of experience the pressure environments all around the world now? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer that, you know, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, as you said before, I've had a lot of ins and outs um, within this Wallaby squad. When I, at a very young age, um, I'm 24 now, so um, you know I'm still young and I'm still learning as much as I can. Um, it's, it's like I mentioned before, just putting things in, into perspective um, and not putting as much pressure on myself. Um, yeah, again, front load the week, put in the work and the prep, and then you know when I'm when I'm out there, if I get the opportunity to play um, this coming weekend, just play what's in front and play footy, knowing that I've put in the work during the week. Last couple of things, guys, for anything else? Just no, uh, Josh. Oh, no, um, Josh, just getting that experience basically straight away, the Reds to face international opposition, like sort of Wales and that time of trip. Can you just talk about just how that builds your own experience that if you are thrown in against these test carbon nations that you can really sort of match it and sort of thrive if this sort of opportunity presents itself? Yeah, definitely. It's like a little stepping stone in between Super Rugby and International. Um, great to get that kind of experience um, going forward, yeah. Anything else, lads? Yeah, I've got one, if that's yeah, right. Sure, um, sure. Noah, you're, I don't know, um, you obviously mentioned, you know, everything you've learned in, in a pretty... Uh, Action Pack Wallaby's career. You've obviously got a guy you're working with in Tom Lynott um, in terms of his early development in the Wallabies. Has there been anything that you've been able to, over a coffee, just chat with him? Because it sounds like you've learned a huge amount in, 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 in being able to switch off from footy. Or, like, can you tell me a bit about your relationship with him and working with him on the paddock? Yeah, um, Tom, he's a, he's, a, he's a good lad. Um, obviously, this is his first time in the Wallaby squad. Um, he's got a great kicking game on him. Uh, great, great pass. Um, great skill set. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed my time uh, with Tom. Um, not so much me as a as a mentor because he's probably only a few years younger than me. But it's more just um, you know just having a yarn with him. He's a pretty laid back um, bloke. Um, too laid back at times, but uh, no, he, I've I've really enjoyed you know my time with him and it's and with Dono as well. Um, us us three tens. You know, like obviously we're all fighting for the same position, but again, we're all trying to help each other grow and, and develop. Um, because you know, experience-wise, um, we're, we're pretty we're pretty young in that in that area. So, um, you know, as much as us three can help each other out, and whoever gets to to wear the jersey, um, you know, we'll we'll prep him 
prep that person the, the best we can. So um, yeah, it's, it's been nice um, spending time with Tom. Um, and yeah, uh, he's got a he's got a big big career ahead of him.